Good morning and welcome to a home vlog. Uh, today, we're tackling this. It's been up for entirely too long, but today it's coming down. So, Christmas is over now. On February 5th. Christmas is over now. <laughs> so we also, the baby is currently drinking a, um, this formula. The Bobby, Bobby formula. organic formula, and it's out of stock everywhere near us, so we have to run over to Winter Park to go get some. Yeah. So that's a mission that we're on today. Got a mission. Let's start the countdown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm making breakfast really quick. I still have to edit yesterday's video, and then it's kind of a dreary day. We had some uh, impactful weather. There was like hail last night some places. Yeah. I don't think we got hail, but Not there was us, hail. Not for us, no, but it was definitely, it's still raining from yesterday, I think. Yeah, look, you can see the pool out there. There it is. But I did start my, <laughs> I'm making some oatmeal, but I did start this, let me grab it and show you. I am starting this um, apple cider vinegar, like detox shots. With mother. They're so gross. Yeah. I, I, they like literally, when I took it, because you do it at night before you go to bed and in the morning as soon as you wake up, it's such a horrible way to start your day <laughs> and end your day. The worst part of waking <laughs> up is doing an apple cider vinegar detox. It's a, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. By the way, we got a lot of bananas. <laughs> oh yeah, so our neighbors ordered six bananas, but they brought her six bunches of bananas. She's like, do you want some bananas? And I was like, sure. So I'm gonna put some in my oatmeal today, actually. Oh. We have, a, we have a lot of bananas. Banana. So stick around for this and more minion-themed uh, treats. No, no minion-themed treats, just banana oatmeal. That was the only one. Do you think they eat banana? They just eat bananas, right? They don't eat banana oatmeal or banana bread. Yeah. They just want bananas. They don't need any of that extra stuff. There's like straight banana fuel right to the gut. We're in the car. It's a car vlog now. Oh, we're doing it. We're headed so, to Target. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Stop it. Oh god. We're headed to Target. We gotta pick up some formula. Tim needs some workout shirts because yeah. he's he's a little workout boy. A little workout boy. He is. It's kinda they like a me, skater boy, but it's a workout boy. They call me WB. And so he needs some shirts without sleeves. Because he's a bad boy who oh, also yeah. works out. Are my sunglasses? <laughs> I got any sleeves? And I also wear leather pants when I run. <laughs> Could you imagine? Um, that sounds awful. Yeah. I also want to look at some, just like a Valentine's Day, maybe little outfit for the baby, a shirt for Jackson. If they have it, last time we looked at Target, they did not have anything for Valentine's Day. They had one thing and it was like a dinosaur Valentine's Day thing, but they didn't have either of their sizes in it, even if we did like it. I also want to look at some more um, pajamas for the baby because he's he's growing like a weed. He's just growing. Yep. So we need to get some more pajamas and Oh, I want to look at the Valentine's cards for Jackson for his class. So, which is going to be interesting because his school doesn't allow candy. No, so you but can't bring candy in the Valentine's Day card. But for Halloween, um, so we did like little trinkets for his Halloween, little um, gift bags for his classmates. But one of the other parents did. They had like these Halloween themed like uh, little single servings of Pringles and like Cheez-Its and stuff like that. So I think we can do that. So anyway, we're gonna go to um, to Target and see if we can find some fun stuff. See if we can find anything for his classmates' little Valentine's Day um, goodie bags. Also, I don't know if like, do we have to do a goodie bag? No, no. I think- we'll Just do little cards. The ones that say like, I choo choo choose you. Maybe we can staple like a little treat to it. Oh, okay. That's what somebody did last time. Just one Pringle, <laughs> staple it. <laughs> Staple a Pringle to it. Also, I while we're driving, because we're going to a Target that's like a little bit far away, I'm going to read a little bit more of my book. I'm halfway done with my book. It's very good. I'm curious to see who the murderer is, oh. who's who's doing all of these things, because right now they're painting it as the, the main girl. They're saying that she's doing it. Spoiler alert, Deputy but she's, Dewey. She's not, she's not doing it. I, I, I believe that something else is afoot in this book. So if you're also reading this book along with me, let me know because a lot of you guys bought the other book or you rented or borrowed the other book from the library, the uh, the only one left. And a lot of you guys finished it before I did and said you really liked it. So if you're reading Burn the Negative with me, let me know. 
Although you want, I only put that video out yesterday, so maybe this is a premature question. <laughs> They're already done with it. <laughs> well, no, I think that they wouldn't have time to get it yet. But if you did get it, let me know. Here's what I like about having Jen as a wife. What? One of the things, one of the many <laughs> things, not the only thing, sorry, <laughs> is that she has a much better memory than me. Oh. And so I wanted to ask you, what? in Scream, yeah. who played the deputy brother? It was uh, David, David, David Craig, yeah. Did he also play the deputy brother in Scary Movie? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, who played, who played it, was a different, it was a different guy. It was a different guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. In my brain, that's all was the same person. No. Oh. Glad that you remember. And that's why we're married. Yeah, just for that one <laughs> single reason. Oh, this one doesn't even say Target. Only the cool ones don't say Target. Is this Jackson's flower for his wedding? Well, I just remembered One that tulip. We, <laughs> we forgot to get him flowers for his wedding. I like when this though. Public. For yeah. one single flower. Oh, it's actually, yeah, that'd be nice. Or a roller skate. Oh. Or is this a book? Mm -hmm. What is that thing? I think it's just like a... Oh, you like put it on the wall. Yeah. Put like, a bunch of them on the wall, make like it's a like little a... flower wall. Oh. Well, you're dynamite. I like that they oh, have no, Valentine's Day one. wiffle balls. No pee. No. <laughs> well, that's so sad though. Or empowering. Oh, pickleball obsessed. Oh, pickleball advisor. What makes this, they're pretty dirty. <laughs> what makes this a pickleball advisor, not just a normal visor? That's for putting your paddle in. It's a paddle cover. No, it's a hot water bag oh, for I don't like know. having. Oh, for like icing your, because you're an old man that plays pickleball? Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, you gotta ice your oh, knees. A crushed ice maker. I don't even understand this. I don't either. Is it just like you put it in there and then you like crank it? Maybe. Hmm. Oh, the dollar spot has some good stuff. Yeah, like a wireless mouse. Oh, for Valentine's Day, they have silly sense dough. Oh. This one is the smell of love. How much are these? A little handheld mirror. Yeah. It's fun. Well, a whole bag of erasers that are dinosaurs. A two minute timer, a five minute timer. Oh, for like brushing your teeth. Yeah. And then also like the self love club. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> this is fun. It's it's a little a baby fidget spinner for the bath. For the bath. Oh yeah, we should do this. I'm gonna get this. Yeah, a little heart sweater. Great. So this is the one I was talking about. Oh, so this is like a dinosaur cupid. Yeah, but like, and then they have this one that we were looking at. Oh yeah, the like suspenders one. Yeah. Yeah. This is be the baby size. Right. Might be too big. This is pretty big. This is pretty fun. Like a pink Nirvana shirt. Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. And a piglet too in there. What is this? Ford Bronco girl. Women celebrating women. Focus on the good feelings. I think that's what it's like. Focus on the good things. Okay, that's fun. Oh, Bats Maru and uh, what is his name? His name was like Grumpy Bear or something? This Care Bear that was sad. What's that, what's that Care Bear's name? And then the graphic tea section over at Target has always been really good. Some Sesame Street stuff, a Barbie shirt, a Corvette shirt right there, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Strawberry Shortcake, lots of Nirvana shirts. What's this? The Rolling Stones, another Nirvana shirt, ACDC, another Rolling Stones, Tupac, uh, Dolly Parton, Biggie, ACDC. It's good stuff. We're out by UCF, so they have, this is a cool shirt for kids. I have a lot of like UCF stuff. Oh, yeah. And then. Oh, so you want like that? Like those? Yeah. Okay. Like this one right here. You know? Where's that at? Yeah, right there. So I don't have to roll up my sleeves. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna show off my muscles. I could get this hat though. Oh, yeah. Like to go running in. That's a very practical. Yeah. Ski gloves? <laughs> Perfect. Well, oh, well, that's cute. This is a fun hat. Look at this bathing suit. <laughs> Blue him bingo. This is awesome. Should we get it? Yeah. So we have booked another cruise. What? <laughs> Says who? Um, well, we had one already coming up because of all the fun things that are opening. But this might be for the next one. I do also want to mention, I don't what? know why you're like very red right now. I think it's because I was just showing the bluey. Am I? Like I in real life, you're not. On this camera, you are. So here's the thing, right? Right now we've got, this isn't the brand of car seat that we have, but we have a car seat like this where it like clicks in. The baby's too big for it. So now I have to get, this is what we have for Jackson. This is what he sits in, is this Britax One for Life, which can go both forward and backwards. So I have to get one of these now. 
The good news is I can get it here at Target and save 5% with my Target card. Not sponsored. But it's just another $350 that I got for a car seat. Uh, I know it's safe, but kids should stop growing. Q-Pig, the Valentine's Day pig. <laughs> also, love escargot. What? What, huh? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this is the best episode. Bingo lets Floppy go. Oh no. Look at how sad Bingo is. But this is like... Oh yeah. This is the That's best fun. one. It is a good episode. Aww. Oh, the queen of chess. Called Begin Again, how we got here and where we might go, our human story. And this one's called I Need a New Butt. <laughs> and butts on the run. This is kind of like an interesting... Oh, with yeah. fire, I suppose. Oh, that's good. I like the colors. Yeah. This one was written by B.J. Novak. It's the book with no pictures. Oh no, that sounds like no fun. We're already starting to get uh, St. Patrick's Day stuff out too. Oh, and Easter. I like it. This is a fun outfit. Okay, let's see if we can find a Valentine's Day outfit. Yeah, they're like already into Easter. Oh, I love this one. The strawberry one? Yeah, I thought those were carrots baby. from far away. Oh, the baby has this one. Yeah, snack time club. Oliver has this shirt. I Do wish they, they have could... it for him? No, they didn't have it for Jackson's size. Okay, so we're back home from Target. Here's most of the stuff that we got. I'm gonna give you guys a little haul because we got some really cute stuff for the kids and I'm excited about it. <laughs> I showed Jackson, he like could not care less. He did care about his books. We bought them some books, so I wanted to show you those too because one of you guys left a comment one time and was like, I love it when you show the books because my kid, they were like, they, I think they had a daughter around the same age as Jackson. And so they were trying to like get some books for her library. And so they liked seeing the books. So I want to show you guys that. Jackson loves reading. We just finished Diary of a Wimpy Kid and it's a, um, the newest one. It's called like No Brainer or something like that, but it's a chapter book and he wanted to read it. We, I think they read it in like a week. And so that was very awesome because it's in the eight to 12 range. He wasn't reading it himself, but he was picking out words because he knows uh, about a little over a hundred sight words. So he was, he knew some words, which was great. Anyway, long story short, I'm gonna give you a little haul of that. But right now I'm starting to make that Picadillo beef. I'm gonna link the recipe that I'm using down below, but I have, uh, I got half of a white onion that I've chopped. I've got some garlic. This is my cilantro. I have some tomatoes. I need half of a pepper. And then, oh, I'm making pasta for Jackson because he's probably not gonna like this. I'm gonna let him try it, but I just don't think he's gonna enjoy this, <laughs> this one. I'm also gonna throw some olives. Let me grab those before I forget. But it has olives and use a little bit of the, ooh, spooky, the olive, the brine. So it's the Colossal Castellaventrano style olives. There's that. And of course beef and it called for raisins and I totally forgot that it had raisins in it and I don't have any raisins. I have craisins. I don't know if that is, that's not the same. I know that's not the same. <laughs> um, so I gotta figure that out because I don't know, I don't have any raisins so I don't know what to do. But other than that, we're pretty good. All right, I am browning my ground meat, my ground beef till it's no longer pink. We're almost there. I've got all my veggies in the bowl here, not all of them, the ones that are gonna be cooked together. So garlic, cilantro, peppers, tomatoes, onion. Oh yeah, and I don't, we don't make meat very often, so I don't have anywhere to like put the, the oil, the grease. So we're gonna, we're gonna open up a LaCroix can and use that so I can drain this. But and then I'm gonna- You didn't know you use a can opener to open up a LaCroix can, did you? Bet you didn't know that, huh? Bet you didn't know, huh? <laughs> lid stuck in there. No, oh, it's fine. I'm gonna throw it all away, so I don't think it really matters. But, um, look at that. Wow. No, don't do that. It's not as sharp here. Oh, okay. It's sharp here. Oh, gosh. So then, once my meat is fully cooked, I'm gonna add my veggies in, give that a little cook a, cook -a roof -ski. Oh, buddy, it's happening. Look at it go. <laughs> okay, so I drained the meat. I put it down below. It's still kind of high right now, but it wants me to now add everything that I chopped up to my meat. So let's get all those bad boys in there. Well, this is gonna be good. Uh-oh, some of my stuff didn't chop up as finely as I thought it was going to. It's okay, I think it'll still be good. It smells wonderful. Yeah. Like this, I could just leave it just like this. I mean, I won't, but it smells great. So I'm gonna let this cook for a minute and then I have to figure out, I gotta add some other stuff. So I added my olives in. I'm gonna add in the olive brine. 
I think I'm gonna do four tablespoons because it said well it said two to four, so I'm doing the four. Okay. I almost want to add more olives though. I don't think that's enough for me. I love olives. Okay, so we got our bay leaves. So let's add these guys in. These are not full bay leaves anymore. That's okay. I'm sure they're fine. That's okay. good. Okay. Bay leaves are pretty pretty intense. I'm just following the recipe. I know, I'm just telling you. Like, this will be okay. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of water, a teaspoon of cumin. We did it. Then, nope, I'm not done oh. yet. I gotta add half of this in. Tomato sauce, four ounces. So it's like half a jar. Oh yeah, perfect. Maybe a teeny bit more, okay. For good measure. All right, and now it just has to cook for 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And that's it. It's. I feel like it's, of all of the picadillo beef I've had, I feel like it was saucier than this. Well, that's why it cooks. Okay. Okay, so I brought it back up so it's simmering and I'm gonna put it back down to like a little bit of a lower heat. That's gonna cook covered for 20 minutes. And then we're gonna have picadillo beef. Hopefully it's delicious. It smells very good. My rice is almost done and I'm gonna just clean up my little mess over here. And that's gonna be dinner for tonight. Now when I make this for like my meal prep, I'm gonna also like add sauteed peppers and onions on the side with it. So it just feels a little more, I don't know, a little, a little more like a meal. <laughs> But yeah, that's what we got going on. I think this is gonna be pretty, pretty good. Okay, so my rice is pretty much done. My picadillo beef, oh, why did I think I always do that? Okay, that's what it looks like currently. I Next time I make this, I'm definitely gonna dice my veggies up a little bit smaller. I don't, I don't think I cut them up small enough, but that's, you know, you live and you learn, baby. Okay, this is the final look at the beef picadillo. I did take out all of my dried bay leaves, but yeah, this actually looks pretty good. It smells very good. I don't know if this is perfect. If this is like, if, if you know how to make like authentic beef picadillo, this might not be exactly that, but I tried and <laughs> I'm excited to eat it. So this is Tim's plate right here. I'm excited to see what he thinks because I made him wait a long time for this because it took longer to make than I thought it was going to. All right, don't mind all the noise that's happening, but uh, I just tasted this and it is delicious. It's saucy, it's savory. The rice adds a nice little like texture to it and it's delicious. Like I think that it might need a little bit more olive juice. I'm just saying that since Jen wanted to add more olive juice. I'm <laughs> saying like, yeah, do it. So this is good, it's really good. What do you think? The meat is good. Yeah, you liked it? You liked it? It didn't have the raisins. It was supposed to have raisins and we didn't have, I totally forgot to get raisins. So. It would've been better with raisins. I know. <laughs> okay, so next time I'll get all the ingredients and I'll make it properly, but I haven't eaten yet. I just got the video up, so hopefully you watched yesterday's video. I'll link it down below in case you haven't seen it. I'm gonna make the baby cereal really quick. That's why he's yelling at me, because he wants cereal. And then I'll eat. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh goodness, oh, and then I'll show you our haul too. I forgot about that. Okay, I ate my dinner, it was very good. I can't wait to make this again. I'm gonna just keep trying until I perfect my, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all the rest of, all the ingredients and then, <laughs> and then I'm gonna keep trying. But I was able to have two leftovers for lunch. So two days of lunch and then Jackson ate pasta tonight and we had some leftover pasta. I do think I will make this again. So this was a good like practice. Got a couple of meals from meal prep. I feel good. Also, it is time to get ready for bed, so let me just show you quickly the books that Jackson got really quick, and then we'll do the rest of the haul when the kids are in bed. Tim and I will go over everything with you, but for right now, we did get the Diary of a Wimpy, no, Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid. This is Rowley's journal. So we've been reading Diary, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, finished the whole book. This is another one of those chapter books, but it does have some pictures, but Jackson's super excited to read this. The other thing that's interesting is that Rowley draws everybody differently than in the... Like in the original Diary of a Wimpy Kid, everybody looks different because Rowley's drawing it this time. We also got, in my heart, a book of feelings. So this one's very interesting because it's... Um, I like that it has this heart in the middle, but it's also just talking about different feelings. So I thought this was a good one. The pigeon will ride the roller coaster. Hey, theme park pigeon. We thought this one was a pretty funny, very on brand. 
This one I picked out, no one likes a fart. Thought that one was, he'll think that's funny. And then this one was interesting. Um, begin again, I think this is the same person that writes the, the crayons, the book about the crayons like the series about the crayons. So how we got here and where we might go next, our human story. So this one was just interesting because it's really kind of telling the story of like people, of humans. So I think Jackson will really like this one. That's Jackson's little book haul. And we're getting ready for bath time right now, so. That's me, <laughs> getting ready for bath time. The baby already had a bath today, so he's not gonna get one right now. I'm gonna put him to bed. Unless you want to put him to bed. No, okay, Tim will put uh, Jackson to bed. I'm going to put the baby to bed. And then we'll show you our target haul. Alright. Oh, you caught me. What? Eating? <laughs> it's, it's, it has the word healthy in it, so it's okay. Healthy Choco Bites. These are not like candy, but they're kind of like candy. They're like... These actually remind me of like when we, a long, long time ago, when we first started vlogging, we used to make these like really, they were date mm -hmm. brownies. Yeah. These remind me of that. Yeah, and they were delicious. Like 10 years ago, probably more than that. Probably 13 years ago. 75 years ago. <laughs> I was gonna tell you when I put the baby to sleep, I was gonna say, I put the baby to sleep, let's see how long he stays asleep for, but it was only five minutes, so oh. I didn't get to tell you. I think go. it was like seven minutes. I, I checked some of the comments and like replied to some of you guys about a lot of you guys did read The Only One Left. Oh. And you recommended some other Riley Saker books for me to check out. And I didn't even know this. His name is Todd Ritter. He went by Riley Saker because he didn't sell any books under the name Todd Ritter. So he used a pseudonym to sell his books and it worked. There you go. Pseudonyms work, folks. Um, I also didn't realize it, but he's been writing books for like 10 years. Oh. So he has a lot of books. From back when I was making those date things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there um, he goes. But he has a lot of books that sound really good. Oh, okay. So. And he has like? a, another book coming out this year. Oh. Yeah. This guy's a writing guy. <laughs> he is. Um, but anyway, we should show you what we got from Target now. Tom Riddle. <laughs> good news, the baby woke up literally five seconds after we said it. So I'm gonna go up and put him back to sleep. Jen's gonna show you the stuff, maybe, if she can. I, okay. So, Tim is upstairs. What was this? Oh, that's just how it looks. <laughs> Tim is upstairs uh, trying to get the baby back to bed. I don't know how many times he's gonna wake up tonight. We will see. It's kind of a guessing game, but right now, I'm gonna show you what we got from Target. So first thing, we did get this. It is a a uh, Frida baby finger toothbrush. And so because the baby has got two little teeth, two little bottom teeth, we're gonna, we're gonna start brushing those little guys. So one thing that we were always told is that even when they have just a few teeth, you should start kind of getting them used to brushing them. Jackson really loves brushing, brushing his teeth. It's, it's a good, uh, habit to kind of instill in them because brushing your teeth is so important. Your oral health is very important to the rest of your body. So I want to make sure that they, he's brushing his teeth. So there you go. So we also got the baby some new uh, little swim shorts. The weird thing though is that these are 18 month swim shorts and they are so little. Jackson has these same swim shorts so we wanted to get them matching ones. And then we did end up getting those bluey swim shorts. I just, how can you, how can you say no to these? These are so cute. These are 12 month. So look at these 18 month and these are 12 month. It's just so, sizing is so just like arbitrary. It means nothing. <laughs> like what the heck, but I love these. These are adorable. We got him this little outfit for Easter. We got this in a 12 month. It has a little, like a little flower tie. This was I think 20 bucks some shorts, suspenders, a button down. This is a, um, like a onesie, like it has the buttons in the bottom. We also got him the Valentine's Day outfit. I think we showed this in the video. How could we say no to this? This is so stinking cute. Another one that was 20 bucks. I just think Cat and Jack has like the cutest clothes. This little suspenders. So back a while back, I asked you guys for suggestions for photographer, like family photographers, and I got so many suggestions. We just didn't have time to take the photos, but I think I want to maybe try to take some pictures in like Valentine's Day outfits, because I just, these are so cute. 
and not a lot of people do like Valentine's Day pictures. I don't know. So I thought that might be kind of fun. And I just think maybe I'll just take them myself. I don't know. I really just want pictures of the kids in their cute outfits because I want to, I saw this ad for, it was a company called Keepsake. It was an ad on TV, but it, it looked like an Instagram ad. Um, not sponsored. I just saw this on television, but it's called Keepsake. And you basically just send them your pic like pictures from your phone and they will print them like frame them and then send you the diagram of how to put them in your house, like the gallery wall type thing. And I think I want to do that with some, just, I have so many pictures of the kids. And so I want to take some more, <laughs> I want to add to that, take some more and um, take some pictures of the kids in their cute outfits. I also got the baby this, it's like a little terry cloth, little hoodie. And it was 15, whoa, it was $15. Wow, I didn't realize how much that one was. But it, it's, Jackson has a matching one and he wore it the last time that we went to Hawaii for the baby moon. And he just looks so stinking cute in it. So we got one for the baby because they had one in stock, but it would basically just go with these little shorts. And I think this will also be good to have at swim class. When you get out of the pool and you go over to like the showers because you shower off all of the, because those pools are heavily chlorinated. So I always, you know, shower him off. But I think just having the, little hoodie to kind of warm him up before we go put on our dry clothes would be a good idea and then this uh, target just like i don't know what it is they just have like the best kids clothes i love this this one was also 15 dollars, but it's like a little winnie the pooh overall set i got this one in 12 month how cute is this like what i love has little bees and then the overalls have winnie the pooh all over them this is like just the cutest thing in the whole world. I cannot wait for him to wear this. If I could get a matching one for Jackson, I would. <laughs> he loves his overalls, like loves his overalls. But I did get some fun stuff for Jackson as well. I got Jackson a new swim shirt. This one's short sleeve for the pool for our swim lessons because he doesn't need the long sleeve inside. The pool is so warm. But I got a matching one for the baby. So they can be, I'm, these kids are gonna match. <laughs> And they're gonna love it. And then I just got it to go with his little swim shorts. And then Jackson has um, some orange swim shorts that this will match, but. And then Jackson needed some new like cloth shorts. He just like lives in his little cloth shorts and they are getting to be a little bit tight on him. I think they're still 2T. He just fits into 2T stuff still. <laughs> um, but this, these are 4T and they, oh, and then it came with this, or it didn't come with it had a matching cute little shirt that said play all day, matches these little shorts. And then here's the back. I just thought this was so fun. Kids have like cool clothes now. I never had cool clothes when I was a kid. Oh, and then I also got, I forgot to show you these. We got the baby some more bibs because he is a little drooly boy right now. He is teething. Those teeth are coming. So we got him some little bibs. And I love the little handkerchief triangle style bibs. I just think they look so cute. And these have a little terry cloth on the back so we can really dry up those drooly spots. I also got a couple of t-shirts just cause they were uh, 10 bucks and they were just so comfortable. So I got just some little, Let's see if I can show you. <laughs> I don't know how to show you. So it's uh, 10 o'clock at night. We haven't done this yet, but the good news is we can do it tomorrow. But I did also want to mention that with the luggage, if you guys remember when we got off the cruise ship, our luggage was like damaged. The wheel was falling apart. And a lot of people told us that it's okay because it's uncovered under warranty. Like there's a warranty on those because it's American Tourister. But I already bought the wheels and my personality is insight into Tim. My personality is I have been like looking forward to switching those wheels out. I don't know what it is about doing it, but like I want to do it so bad. I want to do it right now. It's like, that's just what I want to do. That's like in my brain, for whatever reason, my, my body is like, do it. So I'll probably do it. So I came out and I started doing the wheels and I've already done the first one. The only problem is the bolts that they gave me are a little bit too long for our suitcase. I'm not too concerned about it. It still works just fine. It's not gonna like break it. It's not gonna fall out. Nothing's really gonna happen. It just doesn't have as clean of a look as, you know, the previous wheels. But listen to that versus you know, like it's much better. So I'm gonna replace all four of them and just leave them like this, you know, just a little bit long. You know, they say there's a perfect timing for everything. 
the battery's dead, but the uh, this was the battery that was charging, and it didn't charge. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna drill this guy out right here, and that'll make this wheel come out, because that pin will come out. And then I just need to ream this hole out, out a little bit, and then that's it. Then the new wheel just like slides right in. Easy cheesy, one, two, three, Z. All right, I guess I did care a little bit about it. So I cut this one down, cut about like a quarter of an inch off of it. So you can see, oops, it's much smaller than the other one. So this will squeeze those these two brown pieces tight around this wheel, making it a little bit more stable. So I shortened both these two bolts and I feel good about them. They look a lot better. So, because my drill is dead, I have to stop for the night. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Just got two more to do. Piece of cake. So, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna stop there on the suitcase. And actually, like, even with just two wheels replaced, it rolls pretty good. The dryer is, or the washer is so loud right now. What is happening? I don't know. I'm washing all the new kids' clothes that I just showed you so that they can wear probably not the fancy outfits, but the other ones tomorrow. The other one. You can wear a fancy outfit. I mean, okay. <laughs> Anybody can wear a fancy outfit if they want to. That's true. Tuesdays for wearing fancy outfits. You do you. Um, I did the laundry. I did the dishes. I I, don't, I have to go. To, I'm so the baby is. I don't even want to say it. The baby's still asleep. Don't tell <laughs> But I did read your comments from yesterday's video, and a lot of you are going through the same thing. Oh. So. We're all in this together, <laughs> not sleeping. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what it is though. Like, what what is different about tonight that he's sleeping a little bit longer? I wish I could like pinpoint what that is. So, I found that he, because we were still rocking him to sleep. Mm -hmm. So I found that he doesn't like being on his back. He likes for me to kind of hold him like a little football. Yeah. And then... He has, that's when I put him in the bed, I was holding him like a football and then I put him in the bed. It's just hard for me to, when I roll him back to the other side that he sleeps on, mm -hmm. he, I wake him up when I do that. Oh. So it's hard for me. It's he's, just, he's, because he is facing the opposite direction for me, he's already on the side that he sleeps on. But then some other people were saying that we, maybe we need to cut down on his naps and I don't think he's quite, I think it's like a year when you do that. Yeah. I have to I have to look and double check, but I don't know. It's a lot. I hope all of you that are dealing with the same thing that we're dealing with are having a good night's sleep at some point. I will say this. What? I am very happy with the way that we did Jackson's naps. So I want to keep the baby sleeping as much as possible because I really okay. think that that helped Jackson out. Oh, that's when their brains develop. It's right. like when they sleep. Sleep is so important. So that's why we are always like on a schedule and always trying to make sure that they sleep as much as they need to and can. Right. But, uh, but yeah. yeah. So yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us today. It's a good day. I can't believe we got all the decorations <laughs> off the Christmas tree. <laughs> We're going to do that so, tomorrow. So good. <laughs> well, we did make the Picadillo beef from yesterday today. We did so it. We're just, it was delicious. We're just one day behind. It's fine. Yeah. We're going to do the Christmas stuff tomorrow that we said we were going to do today. There you go. It's fine. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> so, all in all, it was a fantastic day. It was. We're off to bed. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.